right, it's time for Ham Clock Video Part 2. And in Part 2, I want to cover a few things that I mentioned in the uh, first video that I did not demonstrate. And I also wanted to show you that by following the instructions on the Clear Sky Institute website, I was fairly easily able to get this to work on a larger monitor. So we got a 24 inch LCD. The first video was on a seven inch touchscreen. On the 24 inch LCD, I'm gonna tell you, it looks really nice. Everything's a lot easier to see. And I just wanted to kind of go over with you uh, some of the things that I mentioned in the first video, but I didn't do. So let's look at that right quick. In the first video, I mentioned that there was a mouse pointer, but I also said it was very difficult to see on that tiny screen. So here's the mouse pointer. Oh, look at there, it just disappeared. That's actually a feature in a ham clock. So when you move the mouse, the pointer appears. When you stop moving it, it disappears. That way it doesn't get confused with other icons that are on the map and it's not covering any relevant information you're trying to read. You can customize ham clock by touching, if you have the touch screen or clicking up here where your call sign is and you can change the color background that's around your call sign. You can also click below the seconds to get a stopwatch. We'll exit out of that. I mentioned in the first video that you could track the International Space Station or amateur radio satellites on the map. So let me show you how you do that. It's real easy. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the RSS feed by clicking here. It'll give us the full map. We're going to click the DX box where it says DX and now we get a list of amateur radio satellites. In this list you'll see the ISS. So let's go ahead and highlight that box for the International Space Station and click OK. It's going to refresh our map. And now we'll see the current location of the International Space Station. Now this is real time and it's actually moving slowly as I talk. It's following the path. It's going to reappear over here. So we'll also notice that the box that used to say DX now says ISS. And for my location, which is in this box, the ISS will appear in three hours and 51 minutes but it's going to be a pretty poor pass. It's not very good. Only four degrees above the horizon and the entire pass will only last five minutes and 48 seconds. But you get to see the information and as, after it finishes this pass, this will refresh with the next opportunity. So let's say that you not only wanted to follow or track satellites, but you also wanted to use the DX option. So We'll move the green dot, which is currently over in Australia. We'll click over here in South America and move the dot. So now we get our DX information again, but we're also still tracking the ISS. We'll see our bearing heading here. If we want to try to pick up the station or uh, work the station, we'll know which direction to point our antenna. If we want to go back to the ISS information, we just click back on the circle for the ISS and this changes. Very neat. I mentioned in the first video that there were two maps, but I didn't show the second map. So in your map pane, in the upper left, you can click this box and you get the alternate map. Now this looks really cool. Personally, I'm a fan of the other map, so I'm going to switch it back. There's another thing you can do with ham clock. So let's just say that you're only in your ham shack in the evenings between certain hours. The rest of the day, you really don't want to have your monitor displaying this all the time. In the upper right corner, you can click this white box above the beacons. And now we get an option to set a display on time and a display off time. So 
So guys, I just wanted to review a few more things you could do with this really handy tool you could have in your ham shack. I'm still running it on the older Raspberry Pi, Model B. Seems to be doing fine. And this is actually an older LCD monitor that I had laying around. It's working great. I wanted to say thank you for everyone that's watched my videos. Thank you for your subscriptions and your encouragement. Thank you for your feedback. I hope I earned your subscription with the videos that I make. If you uh, feel like it, give me a thumbs up. Y'all stay safe out there in 73.